this is Dr. Marisa, and I'm going to be talking to you about my best daily habits for living a high vitality life. Oftentimes, people want to know my specific daily habits and protocols for living an abundant and healthy and energy life. Now, what I want to do is tell you that these habits aren't necessarily something that you're going to start all at once. I will tell you in my own personal experience, it took several years to get to this place where I am doing things on a day-to-day -day basis. But what I have learned working with thousands of people is that when we create habits every single day, it absolutely dictates the life that we're going to live later. And what I want for you is a life that is rich, full of energy, and full of vitality. So what I want to do is start with my morning routine. We're actually going to focus on the, my entire day, but specifically the morning because that is where I set the tone of the day. So when I get up, one of the first things I do besides brushing my teeth um, is using essential oils. Now essential oils are wonderful for boosting mood, elevating energy, and just feeling all right amazing. Now two of my favorite oils to do this with is peppermint and wild orange. I usually just breathe them in or maybe even lick them and it just wakes me up instantaneously, which I love. Next, I head on into the kitchen and I start a couple of different things. One, I wanna make sure that I have enough water prep for the day because it's important to stay hydrated. Actually, 70% of people in this country are chronically dehydrated and it leads to chronic issues down the line. So staying hydrated is super important. Now, I love water infusions. I love to dress up my water with fruits, herbs, vegetables, and essential oils. So normally, I, I literally prepare those a couple days in advance so that I can put those into a water jug or a glass water bottle to take with me on the road. And then I just refill it throughout the day. Next, I make green smoothies. Now, you should know that I've been a green smoothie girl for over seven years and I love green smoothies. The reason why I love it, it's the fastest food that I can make in my kitchen that delivers the most nutrient dense foods that I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day. Normally a quarter green smoothie, so this is actually a quart jar right here, a quarter green smoothie delivers anywhere between 10 to even 15 servings of fruits and vegetables into the body, which is super important because we are actually pretty nutrient deficient here in the United States. So I wanna make sure that everyone's getting enough fruits and vegetables. Now I've been perfecting green smoothies for years, but I will tell you that I absolutely love the way that they taste. One of the things that I use as a flavor enhancer is my favorite wild orange and lemon oils. They just make the smoothie taste even better and provide immune system and cleansing benefits. So those green smoothies typically consist of greens, fruits, vegetables, herbs, essential oils, sprouted flaxseed, and a good vegan-based protein. Those are typically what my green smoothie consists of. Also, a great daily habit that I do every single day is positively journal and meditate. I think it's super important to get the brain and body focused for the day, and there's no better way to do that than resetting and creating abundance in the mind. So positively journaling or meditation usually takes me about 15 to 20 minutes every single day. I also love to use essential oils during this practice because it helps to elevate that experience even more. Next, exercise is absolutely important. Now I will tell you that I mix up exercise. Sometimes it's Pilates, sometimes it's yoga, sometimes it's boot camp, or even just running stairs. I truly believe that you should get in where you fit in and do something that you love, even if it's just walking 30 minutes a day. Normally I work out five to six days a week for at least 30 minutes to an hour. Most of the things that I do is attend classes because I find it's much easier to work out when someone is telling me what to do than to even self-motivate myself. But I always make sure that I have water and oils on hand, especially peppermint oil because it's such a great energy booster and it's wonderful for muscles. Next, throughout the day, it depends on what's going on, how busy I am or whatever I'm doing. I try to eat super healthy foods for lunch and dinner. I focus again on plant-based foods, lots of good healthy fats like coconut oil, avocados, olive oils. I also take a lot of supplements as well. So supplements are super important because I know that even eating a whole food diet, I don't always necessarily get all of the great nutrition. I take one specific supplement that's designed to create energy in the body. So it boosts mitochondrial levels and helps to balance cortisol and hormone levels. And this is like my energy, my energy booster. But I also take a really powerful multivitamin, a vegan-based omega, and some really great phytonutrients and antioxidants. So actually I don't take a lot of supplements, but I do take some core supplements to ensure that my body's working throughout the day. I normally do this at breakfast and at dinner. 
Then as I'm getting closer to nighttime, I'm winding down, making dinner, but I also want to make sure that we're creating a stress-free environment. Not to say that there's a lot of stress going on in my home, but sometimes days are long or they're pretty rigorous, so I want to make sure that we set the tone for a calming night. I love diffusing oils for that experience. Usually I'm diffusing lavender or bergamot, Usually it's Roman chamomile or geranium, maybe even clary sage. Those are just some of my favorite calming favorites. They smell incredible and they just literally set the tone for the night. It's really nice to just be able to sit down and have conversations with family or maybe even read a book. I have a really phenomenal reading list right now that I am absolutely loving. Some of them are personal development books, some of them are fictional, it just kind of depends on my mood. And then also you should know that all of my routines consist of non-toxic options. So I typically use non-toxic hair products, personal skin products, and makeup. Just to give you an idea, oftentimes a lot of those things are rooted with coconut oil and I can make a lot of them from scratch. Now normally I'm not a do-it-yourself girl, but when it comes to cleansers and personal care products, I want to make sure that we reduce our toxic load so that we are able to heal and keep that high vitality. So those are basically my daily habits in a nutshell. I know that some of them sound like they may take some time, but I absolutely believe that over time, they just kind of become your routine as well. And I also believe that health does take time and energy to kind of get it right. So please, I wanna know what are some of your favorite daily habits that keep you high vitality and abundant? Please share in the comments below because I'm always open to hearing new experiences and things that are working for people. Also, if you love some of the information that was shared in this video today, feel free to subscribe to the channel because I love sharing daily tips, hints, and natural solutions for getting you and your family back on track. I hope to see you very soon and have a wonderful day.